two nine, right? Yes. Nampa traffic, Cherokee two eight six three, Mike entering runway two nine, Nampa. It'll be a straight out departure. At runway two nine, four thousand nine hundred feet remaining. Okay, we have. Everything's still in the green. No flags and uh, oh. Your speed is alive. Positive rate of climb, gear is coming up. Just kidding. It's not bad, I changed from uh, 5 o'clock a.m. departure to 6 o'clock, just did everything else, and we're only 8 minutes after. So. That is a thunderstorm. <laughs> At least that's what it looks like to me. Oh boy. not taking off in the dark, this is good. See how that looks like an anvil? The wind's blowing that way. Oh, yeah. See, it blows off the top. That means the wind's really strong up there. Want me to bring up the map again? Uh, you can. I don't really have one up here. Plane's working kind of hard. Got a lot of shit. Oh, you know what? What? Oh. I was <laughs> like, it's louder than normal. Okay, climb checklist. You're done. Uh, best rate of climb. But we're there. Okay, VX, VY. Yeah, we're there. Uh, best rate flaps up. Oh, we're good. Trim. We're trim. Uh, fuel pump off as desired I won't bring altitude. It off, uh, bit higher. Right. You shouldn't need oxygen this morning either, so if you don't want it, you don't have uh, to have it. We're not going to be high enough to where it's going to be required or needed. The guy this morning said there wasn't anything sketchy on the way over. Now, uh, we're going to get another brief in Dallas, but it looks like we'll be at the very least clear from here to there. Did you take a picture of that, Cloud? Um, I don't know. I'll retake it, though. Got it. Goodbye, Idaho. It's like a perfect example of a thunderstorm cloud. I was like, what do you mean by anvil clouds? Right there. What is it? We're going to beat most of the weather anyways, too. Yeah, imagine. so... It looked like... We have weather on here, but yeah, it's on. We don't have ADSB yet, though, but... Um, here is where it gets kind of sketchy, and over here is where we were going, and there was winds... Uh, which is, it's probably more that direction, which is, makes sense with the uh, clouds there. Um, it doesn't look too mountainous where we were going to go, but the winds were 20, sting to 30 at that airport. A bunch. It was right down the runway, though, so I was like, I can land in it. But um, I was, there was a lot of green around there I was pretty concerned about. So by going this way, all the green was up here. We're going to miss that. And... Uh, we're gonna. Okay. What's the highest peak we're going over? Um, a 
this route it says uh, 7,900. Oh, that's not bad. We went over taller and, Well, that's, yesterday. I don't think that's, doesn't make sense. It didn't say that a minute ago, so we'll see. But, um, yeah, we'll see. It didn't show that before. There's no, like, you just have to kind of steer clear here a little bit, so that's probably why it's saying that. We're going to kind of turn around as we see hills. That's only 6,500, so we'll be 2,000 feet above if we're 8,500. The rest is pretty flat, and then we get to low here. Big Sky Approach, Cherokee 2863, Mike. VFR request. Cherokee 2863, Mike. Big Sky, stand by. No, 1782, contact Selvig Center, 118.05. See ya. Selvig Center, 118.05. Cherokee 263, Mike, go ahead. About 10 miles northwest of Nampa, request flight following to the Dalles, and that is going to be Delta Lima Sierra. Cherokee 2863, Mike, uh, Boise Altimeter 2975, Squawk 6071. 6071-2863, Mike. Mike, radar contact, 25 west of Boise Airport. I say altitude. It currently is 6,450, and we're climbing to 8,500. Roger. So here our weather came back up. See, that's that thunderstorm, probably where the yellow is. So we'll be, that's why I didn't want to go that way. We would have been going somewhere right through the middle of that. So we're going south to, doesn't receive that much data yet. So we'll check back in a few minutes. It was kind of staying around there. So we should be fine. Flighting didn't take very long. Oh, what's uh, the problem with getting ready for the trip is setting everything up in the plane. You know, that's why I wanted to do the oxygen last night. So it's one less thing this morning. All we had to really do because I set everything up. So the twenty nine eighty contact. The oxygen and all that before was uh, was uh, throw the bags in in pre flight. So so I wanted to get fuel before too. So what do we have today downtown Seattle, the Space Needle, and then go back up to wherever for the museum? Oh, we can see the fish flying thing. We can have yeah. fish thrown at you. Every time you take off your pants, I have fish thrown at you. <laughs> Just wait till your mom sees this video. Oh yeah, that's what a master of editing is for. Jeff will get that edited. <laughs> I'm so tired. Just put your hand on here. Just put it right where it's at. There's a climb. Keep it right at 80. If you want to hand fly, then you're, you know, you're more than welcome to. Um, there's <laughs> obviously plenty of time. We don't have to just keep it on autopilot. That's not what flying's about. But I'd like to wake up a little bit before I do. I'm so. just telling you, don't yeah. feel bashful if you want to do it. Just ask. Uh, that's what half the fun is here, learning and all that shit. I'm going below 80. What do I do? Push forward. Remember, we pitch for airspeed. Oh yeah. If you're going slower, you're going up. If you're going faster, you're going down. Pretty easy concept, right? Yeah, I forgot. And you can, you don't even have to look at this because you can hear the motor. So if you listen, put it right at 80, basically. Now listen to that. 
Close your eyes. Tell me what's happening. The sound. It's working harder, which means we're going up. Right, and what's going to happen? And we're falling into the ground. Yeah, so you can tell but the difference just by just by listening. So that's why when I had my head back there, I have it on navigation autopilot, so it's following the route. So all I needed to do was keep it at a certain pitch, and I can just hear pitch, so I know knew what it was doing. I didn't even have to look, and it stayed right at 80 before and after I looked back. Beautiful. Like there's just this is what flying's about. You know what I mean? many people get a view like this Saturday morning? Incredible. Okay, leveling up. Altitude set. Okay, now we're going to pitch power and trim. Actually, I need to do that first. You want me to bring up the cruise checklist? Um, well, I know that that's the first thing, so let me take care of that first. Contact Salt Lake Center, 128.05, see ya. 128.05, good day. 63 Mike. Salt Lake Center, Cherokee, 2863 Mike with you. We're 2863 Mike, Salt Lake Center, voice the altimeter, 29074, say altitude. 29074, and we're going to level off here at 8,500, and that should be our cruising altitude, 63 Mike. Were we saying something or? Cruise checklist, do you want that? Oh yeah, go ahead. The pump's off? Yep. That was hard. No, no, it's a climb checklist. <laughs> we pitch power trim, I just adjusted the mixture. Instrument's still coordinated. The pump is on the correct tank. We'll wait for the timer. <laughs> Lights are adjusted. Look at that. Done. Like I've memorized it or something. I've only done this a time or two. <laughs> I mean, I'm not like an American airline pilot or anything, but... A routine now. Well, oh, ground speed 101, we're gonna, we have a headwind on this trip, so it's... United 1782, contact Alex Center 128.35. That's that mountain right ahead of us, so. 7396, Alex Center, radar contact a nine miles east of the OR for direct FSA. Go south of there. The hosts. Looks like the right is lower, though. 59. It's about even on both sides. The south would be more direct. You have to go a little bit zig and zig and zag there. So let's go direct to Fauna. Then we click, uh, we can go to Flight Plan. We'll enter a point here. Enter a point. Can I go? Basically, we'll go like this. But oh, we never turned the heater off last night. Is that bad? Doesn't matter. I think I know why it didn't. Um, 
activate why it didn't turn. Because I think when you get up to that point, you have to activate the next leg, I think. So yeah. we'll check with that today. Um, so we get to the fauna intersection, we'll check it out.